This screencast will continue to add on to the ethyl acetate plant example from chapter 5.3, adding a heat exchanger. Suppose our ethyl acetate plant is in an environment that is in fact lower than our intended operating pressure of one bar. This may be due to minor losses in the feed fluid pipe due to transport from the supply tank, elevation, or other reasons. Let's assume that our feed streams in fact are each 0.9 bar at the battery limit. We will use pumps to increase the pressure to one bar. Place two pumps on the flow sheet and reconnect the feed streams to first enter the pump before the heat exchangers. Specify the discharge pressures as one bar. Run the simulation. The results should be identical to those in Chapter 5.3, barring the specifications of the initial feed streams. Watch the following video in the YouTube playlist to learn how to view and interact with thermophysical properties of components in Aspen Plus software. For more Aspen Plus tutorials, visit the Cornell CBE YouTube channel.